First blow, first bloggy blow. Haha. <laughs> 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 we, we could do that and then do the. So it's. Onion, garlic, carrot, fennel. Fennel? Yeah. When have we ever eaten fennel? I have. It's got like um, an aniseed taste to it. Mm. What do you think of that? Yeah, go on then. Do you want to write a list? No, I said if you do the list. First blow. First bloggy blow. I'm doing a shopping list because... Well, we do meal preps. So, cook everything on a Sunday and freeze it and it's just easy to eat. It's easy for me with my running. It's easy for mum and dad because... I don't know, they just don't really like cooking too much in the evening, so we're going to go shop. Whoa, I've just got back from a six mile run and my kiddies hurt a tiny bit. I think I really need to, one thing with this training is I just really need to work on my form to ensure that I'm not getting injured. And also maybe looking to get in a new pair of running trainers, but we'll see. See you in a bit. It is saturday morning um so yeah and today i was planning on doing a long run but my achilles is just a little bit tender so i'm just gonna put some ice on it and i'm gonna edit that's my setup pretty much there so i'm gonna get some food so probably not gonna train today but i will try and fit something in tomorrow depending on how my achilles feels have some wheat to i think this morning because just in case there's something light just in case i do decide to go out but my achilles is kind of saying no at the moment So I have just finished editing that video. It's about 11 past 11 and I'm just going to chill out for a bit. Going out later, um, a friend's 21st. So this weekend's going to be pretty knackering. Going to try and chill out tomorrow, see if I can get the running tomorrow. I've had my Achilles on some ice and I think it's done it the world of good. I don't know whether I should risk running it, but you'll find out soon. I mean, five weeks in, it's quite early on, so I really don't want to get any injuries and hinder the training, So, because that would be a massive anticlimax, wouldn't it? Bloody hell. But um, no, feeling good other than that. It is Sunday. Um, I had my mate's 21st last night, so got up nice and early to get back. Um, it's now about 11 and I'm gonna go for my long run. My Achilles is feeling a lot better actually, which is really good. Um, I was doing some kind of ankle rotations and kind of like calf stretches as well, because obviously your Achilles is attached to your calf. Um, and I'm also gonna just to try and avoid that work on my running form as well. But I tend to, because I don't want to heel strike, I've got into a habit of landing too far onto my forefoot. Um, so effectively that puts a lot more strain onto your Achilles and also onto your um, also onto your calf. So what I want to try and do is land uh, a little bit more on my midfoot, uh, coming down then onto the heel, um, so that I'd avoid any kind of impact injuries. A long run today is going to be 10 miles. Considering I've got the half marathon, I think it's in another five weeks. That's fair. You know, it's going to be 13 miles. Um, I don't really want to go too too much over that by that point. I want to just keep it steady and consistent because then injuries could occur. I'm feeling quite fresh, I didn't get too much sleep last night but um, I'm just going to hydrate, just chill out for an hour, lay down, then yeah, hit the road and hopefully get some good um, progressive miles in there. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for Sunday. Let's go run. This week's miles is looking like it's going to be about, yeah, 33 miles. So, highest week um, yet. Week number five, week number four, week number four, 33 miles if we get this um, 10 miler in and then looking to increase that next week. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Quick up there, I'm gonna do this long because I know it's shaky. But four miles in, no pain on my Achilles, which is fab. Um, and my pace is a little bit higher. Um, sorry, a little bit quicker. But 
I still feel like I'm running at a very, you know, conversational recovery pace. So time will tell. But at the moment I'm banging out 740 uh, minute miles. So we'll see. But I'll probably falter going into those um, later miles. But I'm sure only time will tell. I'm um, going good so far though. Oh my god! Well that could not have gone much better at all. Um, 10 miles and set out a recovery pace, did it, you know, my heart rate, um, and then went by feel, and I don't know, I, I altered my form a little bit, um, wasn't, as I said, you know, wasn't going on my forefoot so much, or the back, but more, you know, in the middle of my foot, and then landing on my heel, and it felt fantastic, my stride, I don't know, it felt much more natural, my turnover was really good, I think my cadence was about 181 um, a minute, so yeah, it was fantastic. I was turning out an average, you know, 7.30 minute miles um, with some good negative splits near the end as well. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna whip up some post-workout like oats and bananas and goodness like that. And then um, just kind of chill, put my feet up a little bit. Um, because um, yeah, my Achilles actually felt fantastic. I mean, there were tiny like little bits where I felt like a little niggle, but that was when I was running up hills and stuff. So all good really so far, and um, yeah, just gonna make some thoughts. like baby food but I don't do all the aesthetic you know putting banana neatly on top kind of thing um, or like I don't know make it look nice I'm more interested in how it tastes so I just bang it all in there it doesn't really matter how it looks and it's like a massive kind of I don't know mix like a cake mix There we go, finished product. A lot of good carbs and a little bit of protein, fats, um, and some sugars as well. Obviously, need to replenish after that run, so I'm gonna chow down. Thing! Right, so I thought I would just kind of like finish off this vlog by giving an update on my overall week. So, while I'm eating my lovely oats, I have run 33 miles this week. I had a little wobble with my Achilles. So, Monday, I ran six miles recovery. Tuesday, I did five miles in a sprint workout on the treadmill at work. Wednesday was a rest day. Um, Thursday, I then did a strength workout, which incorporated speed. Uh, it was a tempo run. And then on Friday, I did some light recovery miles as well. That was when I hurt my uh, Achilles. Um, Saturday, I had a rest day. Obviously, today, yeah, smashed out 10 miles. So we got in 33. Really, really happy. 33. Hang on. 6, 12, 18. Sorry, no, we didn't. We got 32 miles in this week. So, still pretty good. Really happy with how I'm progressing. Shut up. Really pleasantly surprised, actually, now, because that long run just now, like, I was... I felt great, but I was getting some really good mile splits. Um, and obviously got into negatives coming towards the end um, of those 10 miles there. So, yeah, really happy. And then it, it really comforts me to know that that is less than, less than a, well, more than a third of a marathon.
you know, running 10 miles is more than a third of a marathon. I feel like, you know, you feel like you can keep going. And I'm now, what, 13 weeks out? And, you know, that's a good place to be in. I've just got to pray that I don't get injured. And one of the big parts of that is that I'm going to work on my running form. Really good. Nothing better, no better feeling than knowing you've run 10 miles in a day, come home, relax, you know, know it's Sunday, enjoy myself. Also, I do just want to say that um, my first three videos, the first one was kind of like a vlog, um, the second one was really revealing the charity, and the third one obviously is my training plan. So I feel like with those three, I've now set the, co um, set the context for this channel, and now I really want to incorporate a lot more vlogs like today, but um, not just obviously in the house and just running, but other little bits and bobs as well. Um, I feel like vlogs are more fun to watch. I certainly enjoy running vlogs more, unless I'm trying to get some specific kind of information about something, but yeah, you're going to see a lot more of this face a bit candidly. Also, I'm not wearing a beanie today, so I hope you're proud of me because I feel like you've just seen a lot of me wearing a beanie recently. And yes, I do wash it. Um, I'm not a dirty little rascal. I'm going to cap that off here. That's vlog number one for the training. And yeah, I'm going to hit it next week with week number five. Um, I think it's some really good mileage. Got in for about 33, obviously because I just fell short of that this week. Um, we want to build it up and yeah see you all in the next one